Today I'm going to create a quick journal in Book Bulk using a cute picture that I found stashed away in my archives. Before I get started, I just want to say hi, I'm Ali. My channel is all about creating. I create tutorials about a range of different topics. This one is around KDP. If you're interested in finding out more about KDP or other crafting and artistic adventures, <laughs> then please consider a like and a subscribe. So let's hop across to the computer and I'll show you how I'm going to create this very, very simple little journal and upload it to KDP. All right, so this is Book Bolt, everybody. If you haven't seen it before, I've got a link in the description if you would like to um, purchase this software. It's fantastic. It allows you to create books. It gives you all the margins, plus you've got templates that you can use, which you'll see today. I'm going to create a new project. It's going to have a cover and interior today. This one here, I'm going to call it um, Get the Pug Out of Here. You'll understand why it's called that in very, very shortly. I'm going to keep it as a six by nine, although I'm gonna have a look here and see. The six by nine journals I find are pretty good. I've actually got a couple of copies here and I do use the six by nine format, so I'm gonna keep that. And I do want this to have 120 pages, so a decent sized journal. So I'm gonna create that project. So what Book Bolt will do is it will go through and it will populate the pages for you, which you can see happening on the left. It has the cover here, which is in front, and it also gives you the overall dimensions. So you'll be able to create your cover knowing that you're going to have it fit with the margins and bleed and layout uh, that is there in front of you. So this is all done for you. Otherwise, you have to go to the KDP calculator and work it out yourself. I'm going to come back to the cover shortly. I'm going to go here into page one. And again, you can really clearly see these lines here. So that gives you a really great idea about where the margins are. Obviously, if you stay, you keep your text within this margin, you're good to go. But if you have visuals or pictures and things like that, you might go outside of this margin to the edge of the page. And therefore, when you come into KDP, you would set, select bleed because you're actually bleeding past this margin here and out to the outside of the page, which means that anything on the outside of this green margin can get cut. But you would want it to, if you want it to the edge, then you just make it go all the way to the edge. And then wherever it cuts here in this inside margin, you're good to go. You don't end up with a little white strip kind of showing during the print process. So I'm going to come down here to page templates. If you want to know more about bleed margins, I should do a video about that later. So page templates. Now Book Bolt, I love because it does have page templates. It makes things so easy. Here we have all of the journal and dot graph ones, but they have others down here. If I scroll down, there's calligraphy, practice sheets, handwriting paper, and then you have all these puzzles as well. So I do want to get into making some puzzle books. And down still, you've got some um, home to do's, career plans, mood trackers. There's a whole lot there for creating journals. And what you will notice here in the green, it will give you some variants. So in this one here, it's not just that one, there's seven of these that you can choose from, or you might um, select from different ones for your layout. And um, same here, two variants. This is just a preview for the one. So anything with green has a couple of variants there that you can use. I'm going to come back up to the top and for this journal I'm thinking <coughs> excuse me I'm thinking I might go oh yes this has three variants I like this one here and I don't mind this one because it has got the date there and let's go college journal or do I want something a bit bigger I tend to write pretty big. Let's do this one. Now it will put that on the current page, but you are able to apply that template. So you don't have to go individually one page at a time. You can come up here and hit select all, make sure that you unclick your cover. And then when you hit next, it's going to apply that template to every page that you've selected. So if you're wanting different templates on each page, obviously you would just click on the ones that you wanted. So I'll just click off here for the moment. Hang on, deselect all. So say I only wanted this on these pages. So I'd do that and I'd hit next. And then I'd get another template and they might be on these pages and so forth. 
All right, so I'm going to select all again and I'm going to hit next. You do get to um, just determine some stroke width if you like. I'd love for this to be visual. So if they had like a visual here so you could see what that looked like, that'd be fantastic. Um, the top line color, I'm going to keep everything pretty much the same there and hit submit. And now it is inserting the templates to each of my 120 pages and that's what it looks like. Now coming up to the cover, sure and I will do the cover. Actually no, I'm going to come back down here. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I would like to have a doggy paw print there just as a point of difference. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to the file library. And I don't have a doggy paw here. So I'm going to see if I can find one. A dog paw. And there we have some there. So I might choose this one. And I'm going to put it down the bottom, turn it around. And I'm going to change the opacity of that so it's a little bit lighter. Now if I want to have that on every single page, I can come back to my page, actually no, if I want that on every single page, all I need to do is go clone this page, okay, and I can select all, unhit my cover, and clone. And it says that the selected pages will be replaced, that's fine, because I want to have them all replaced with this paw print on it. So I'm just going to hit OK. And it will go through and do exactly the same as I did before, except this time it's going to put the doggy paw print on each page. All right. Now I'm going to hit go up to the cover. Because for this cover, I have found one of the cutest pictures. There it is. Of a pug. Now I've rasterized this image up and I'm going to pop this one on the cover. So to do that, I need to come back to my image library my uploads. I'm going to upload an image this time and I'm going to upload my pug and there he is. I'm going to select that one and this is the tricky bit. I want to see if I can get him centered right there. I don't want him to lose any Cuteness. There we are. I might move him across to, to there and just expand it out again. Let's see what this looks like. Let's go with a rectangle. In fact, this might be a bit better. A rectangle to there and down. And then I want to use my pipe it. There we go. I think that might be better. And then I would like to put a title on here. So I'm going to go up here and add a heading. And it's going to be called, I'm just going to double click inside here, Get the Pug Out of Here. And I want to choose a font. Maybe that one. I think for this one I might even pipette some of the other colours that are here. Don't mind that. I might go for a lighter colour that matches so using this little pipette. That way it matches in with the rest of the picture. And I think my G is touching there on the O. So I might just come back here to spacing and do a bit more of the line height there. Get the pug out of here. All right, I think that looks okay. I'm happy with that. It's really, really simple. Like I said, get the pug out of here. And 
this is just a journal, a little bit of a fun one. I have a friend who has a pug. <laughs> so if anything, they might get a copy of this journal for Christmas. All right, so let's go. We've got this, we've got our pages, which are just our normal ones with a little paw print. When we have finished the title, I know there's not a lot of fancy thing. I'm relying on just the picture here to appeal to anyone who might see the cover and love pugs. So download, and when you download, you can download the current project, CMYK, that's for printed books. It says ebooks here, which is RGB, anything that's electronic. Or if you haven't created a cover in Bookbolt, you can just download the current page. I'm going to do the whole project. So I'm going to download and Bookbolt, Bookbolt will go through, put the finishing touches on my book. So I'm going to let that do its thing and I'm going to pop across to Amazon Kindle Publishing. I've already logged in and I've gone to create. What would you like to create? I want to create a paperback. The book title is going to be Get the Pug Out of Here. I'm not going to put any other, um, I might just put um, journal book. And I know that's not on the title, but that's okay. Just give somebody who's reading that um, an idea of what this actually is. It's not a series. I'm going to stop that there. And I'm going to give that a format of heading. Um, so add a perfect touch. Add a perfect touch of pugtastic fun to your everyday life. And I'm also going to put that one in a bold. There we go. I might make that bold as well. All right, now, I own the copyright, yes. And no, no explicit. Amazon, I'll choose categories. So for this one, who's home, let's see what's in here. Pat and animal care. General. Okay, add another category. Humor, cats, dogs, and animals. Oh God, this is so hard sometimes. Self-help. Journal writing. Sometimes it's just fun to write in something. That's funny. I'm just going to save those. It's a low content book. And now we need some keywords. So again, you can get ChatGPT to help you. Let's have a look and see what it does. Um, can you give me the top keywords for this book for KDP. Alright, so I'm just going to take this over here to the side and I'm going to just minimize this so that I can have a look. So journal notebook um, pug owner gift uh, funny put that up there all right I think that might be enough so I'm just going to expand this out again and save and continue now, publishing without an ISBN, ISBN, sorry, because it is a low content book. I just want black and white. It's a six by nine. I can do bleed. It says only if you have images or illustrations. And so I'm going to go no bleed. I want a glossy cover. I'm going to upload the manuscript. So this should be in my downloads folder now. Here we have get the pug out. Now, when you use Bookbolt, it will put it into a zip file. So I just need to unzip this to downloads. There we are. So there is the interior. And then we want to upload the cover. So upload a cover I already have. Upload that. And this is the cover file. Did I use AI? Yes, I did. I did some sections. Well, do you include the, it's actually in the book. So there's no, there's none in the book. 
images I used one with minimal or no editing because I did get this image through a prompt on mid journey and I did do some editing in that I created it into a rasterized file no I didn't use any translations and then I can launch the previewer if I'm looking at this in real time I have my screen recorder on and at the moment it has taken me 26 and a half minutes to get to this point so obviously this video is not going to be that long but just to give you an idea okay so now once it has gone through that you get a print previewer and you'll notice here in the print preview I'll just show you so here's the uh, margin line this is the bleed line so you can see how some of that's going to be trimmed off there'll be a little bit of grey on the back spine but I can live with that and then you if you have a book that has got more than just a low content like this one in it you can then flick through and see how the pages are looking so these are all the same there's 120 of them I'm not going to put you through that um, so I'm going to approve this now and then you can move to the next so that's going to cost two dollars 44 to print plus you add on what royalties which I think is about 60% that yep that Amazon take so the minimum amount I can put this book up for is four dollars and seven so I do want to make a little bit out of that I usually put my journals on for about $5.99 that gives me one dollar per book let's make that eleven dollars so $9.99 sorry I'm stuffing around here $10.99 there we go at least I get 93 cents all right publish the paperback book and you'll see the get the pug out of here journal $5.99 there it is and then you hit close and then at the moment it will go through a review I'm finding that the reviews are only taking about a day or two at the moment I had a couple that it's it varies I guess I had a few that went through in about 24 hours then I've had a few that have taken about three days and then I've had a few that have taken four days so it's all over the place I think they give you a range of expect seven you know a certain amount of time um, you will get there so there's the get the pug out of here journal from here I would still create some a plus content now you might think that's a bit weird but I'll put the title and just a few of the pages inside what it looks like so that people know what they are getting into when they purchase the book I might even do a little bit of marketing where I just put the picture uh, a little bit about pugs and I'll pop it on Pinterest or something like that just to generate some links back to the get the pug out of here book thanks for sticking around and watching the video now I'm going to hand out a freebie or hand out not actually physically a hand out because I can't do that across the internet can I but I am going to put a link in the description to a freebie each time I have a video up I'm going to create some sort of freebie that you'll be able to download over on my PayHip store now on my PayHip store I have freebies but I also have other things for sale and if you'd like to help me and the channel feel free to have a browse through and see if there's anything else that you would like so today's freebie is going to be a few upscaled images that you can use in any of your projects these are unique they have been created by me and you're free to use them as you wish for any uh, personal or commercial use thanks again for watching don't forget to subscribe that also helps me out and i'll see you in the next video